Good morning, family. It's Tanya Morrison, Tanya Madison Morrison, coming to you live from the lovely Reno, Nevada. And we are actually not doing a treatment today. We're actually on our way to Sacramento, California, which is about a two and a half, three hour ride from Reno so that I can meet with my um, oncology ophthalmologist regarding the options for my eye. We're going to do a lot of tests, a lot of scans, see what's going on, make sure that the nasty cancer is isolated because yesterday they were talking about, you know, if it spreads to my eye socket and outside my eye, I was like, oh, heck to the no. We either got to kill it, got to get it out. You know, my appointment with the plastic surgeon was very encouraging. I was very reluctant about um, just the, the fact that I might have to remove my eye, but God has just led me to people. I mean, he even said to me, whatever I don't usually take Medicaid because of course I'm trying to get some Nevada insurance but if it's life-threatening like this I will take it don't worry about the money you know because that's a couple hundred thousand dollars so just God is just blessing God is blessing so this doctor really is the one will make the decision about what to do with my eye once we do the scans and we meet with this doctor to make a lot of decisions and to most importantly or just as importantly to make sure that my good eye that nothing is spreading because when my, I lost my vision on June the 20th or my vision changed on June the 20th I had just gone to my annual eye checkup and had 2020 vision in my right eye so it was less than a month that the cancer spread into my eye so of course my prayer and i pray that you will pray and stand with me is that my left eye remains healthy and whole so we're going to do tests on that to make sure that that remains healthy and then once we get all of the information and knowledge about what's going on with my eye both of my eyes will make a decision because the last thing that we want is for nasty cancer to continue to run rampant in my head and my eye and start coming on the outside of my eye and start some craziness so that's what's going on today we're skipping treatment today mommy and daddy are now loading up my fruit is about to fall off the bag um, they're loading up thank you so we are here and it's a lovely day in Reno. It'll be a nice road trip for us. We got our goodies all packed up. So just wanted to send some love again, Tanya Morrison, Tanya Madison Morrison coming to you live from Reno. I thank you, I love you, my love squad. I just love you so much. I'm feeling your love. Thank you for continuing the momentum with the GoFundMe campaign. Please remember that when you're inviting your friends to go and donate, that they really let us know who referred them to us so that we can know and send the love because we have so many donors not just anonymous donors but people who we don't know how they know us and we want to know that information we're really on a mission and we appreciate you locking arms with us standing in solidarity as we take cancer by the neck and of course you know I already God already dropped it in me once I'm healthy and whole and on the other side of this the mission for 360 will be to help other people have options and not let finances be an issue for them not to get the health care that they need so we really appreciate you we love you we adore you we feel your prayers we feel your love and we just pray that you would keep us lifted and also continue to drive people everything tanya fights cancer the facebook i'm trying to post daily words their inspirations for you as well as the continued treatment my therapy starts my real chemo starts tomorrow dr forsyth wanted to start today but he knew i was trying to push it off till monday but he knew uh, that i was traveling today he said oh no baby girl <laughs> basically is what he he just loves me i love him he said if you were here tomorrow we would start tomorrow we we have all of the weapons that we need i love his work he was just on point we have all the weapons we need now in our arsenal we're ready to go to battle and that's what he said we're about to take cancer by the neck so all is well have a great day bye bye